Hey Star Citizens! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of civilian passenger transport in Star Citizen. We'll explore its current state, how CIG might implement Tier 0 passenger transport, and what the future might hold for ferrying civilians across the diverse. Buckle up and let's jump right in. As of now, civilian passenger transport in Star Citizen is more of a concept than a fully realized feature. While we've seen hints of it through ships like the Crusader Genesis Starliner, which is designed for passenger transport, the actual mechanics and gameplay loops are still in development. Let's break down what we currently have. The Genesis Starliner is the poster child for passenger transport. It's a sleek ship designed to carry multiple passengers comfortably. The Origin 890 Jump, though primarily a luxury yacht, can also serve as a high-end passenger transport with its opulent interior, the 600i, and the Andromeda Phoenix. Right now, NPC interaction is quite limited. NPCs mostly populate space stations and landing zones without any significant interaction related to passenger transport. This is an area ripe for development. So, how can Cloud Imperium games bring in Tier 0 of passenger transport? Tier 0 usually means the initial, most basic implementation of a feature. For passenger transport, this could involve a few key elements. Dedicated passenger ships. First, we'd need the passenger ships to be flight ready. Ships like the Genesis Starliner, Origin 890 Jump, and even the Crusader Hercules could serve different passenger transport roles. These ships need to be outfitted with the necessary amenities to make passengers feel at home. Genesis Starliner, this ship would be ideal for short to medium range passenger routes. Origin 890 Jump, perfect for luxury transport, perhaps even VIP missions. Crusader Hercules could be used for mass transport, moving large groups of passengers. Simple boarding and deboarding mechanics. Next, we need simple boarding and deboarding mechanics. Passengers, whether NPCs or other players, should be able to board and deboard the ship at designated terminals or landing zones. This can be as basic as walking to a seat and sitting down for the journey. Terminals and gates, implementing functional terminals and boarding gates in spaceports. Seating and safety, passengers should be able to find their seats and strap in for the journey. Basic mission structure, CIG could introduce basic missions, where players accept transport contracts, to move NPCs from one location to another. These missions could be picked up at mission terminals or through the Mobiglass. Success would be measured by delivering passengers safely and on time. Mission acceptance, players can accept transport missions from mission givers or kiosks. Objective markers, Clear markers to show where passengers need to be picked up and dropped off. Dynamic passenger behavior. Finally, we could see basic dynamic passenger behavior. Passengers could react to the environment, such as getting agitated during turbulence or expressing relief upon landing. This adds immersion and gives pilots more to manage during the flight. Reactions. Passengers react to turbulence, delays, or other in-flight events. Simple interactions, basic interactions like asking for help or reacting to the player's actions. Theory crafting, the future of passenger transport. Now, let's have some fun and theory craft what the future of passenger transport in Star Citizen might look like. Imagine this, fully immersive passenger transport with dynamic missions, intricate ship systems, and emergent gameplay opportunities. Advanced Passenger Management Future updates could introduce advanced passenger management systems. 
This might involve managing passenger comfort, addressing their needs during the flight, and even dealing with emergencies. Think of it like a minigame where you balance the happiness of your passengers with the operational demands of your ship. Passenger Comfort Monitoring and adjusting the comfort levels of passengers. In-flight services Providing food, entertainment, and other services during the flight. Dynamic economy and reputation The passenger transport economy could be dynamic, influenced by player actions and in-game events. Successful transports would build your reputation, leading to more lucrative and prestigious contracts. Conversely, failures could damage your standing and make it harder to find work. Reputation system A system that tracks your success and failures in transporting passengers. Economic impact Passenger transport impacting local economies and player income. Emergent gameplay and events. Emergent gameplay could play a big role. You might have to deal with hijackings, medical emergencies, or even VIP transport missions, where security is paramount. These scenarios would add depth and unpredictability to the passenger transport experience. Emergencies. Handling in-flight emergencies like medical issues or security threats. Unique missions. Special missions that involve high-risk, high-reward scenarios. Interactive passenger NPCs. NPCs could become more interactive with unique personalities and requests. Some might tip you for a smooth flight, while others could cause trouble. This adds another layer of engagement and makes each transport mission unique. Passenger requests. Handling specific requests from passengers. Dynamic interactions. Passengers interacting with the environment and other NPCs. And there you have it. That's how civilian passenger transport could evolve in Star Citizen. From the initial Tier 0 implementation, to a fuller-fledged, dynamic system, the possibilities are endless. What do you think about passenger transport in Star Citizen? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Star Citizen content. Until next time, fly safe!